everyone, this is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today I've got one that was sent in by a reader named Daniel from Montana. Thanks, dude. I really appreciate it. This is stuff that's now showing up in all the Walmarts. Uh, Panda Signature Ramen Noodle Soup. Um, this is the spicy beef. What's interesting is I was trying to figure out where it was from. It's got a halal stamp from the Malaysian Halal Authority. So I'm guessing this is Malaysian. That's that's my vote. I've uh, talked to the company that distributes it. They're called Albany Farms and they're located in LA. Uh, so we shall see. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing a meet the manufacturer series with them. People talking about these from my unboxing have had mixed reviews. Most uh, I've gotten a couple people who said they really liked it. I've gotten a couple people that are like, oh, they need to make this stuff go away. I had the chicken one the other day, and it was decent. It was a decent chicken one. And if these are made in Malaysia, dude, I know it's going to be good stuff. So I don't know what you guys are squawking about, but I've only tried one. So... But they say that they are in the process of reformulating these noodles. So that's a, that's that's definitely an interesting note. Maybe they found like not enough people really like this stuff around here, and they're gonna make it better. So I guess that's good. You'll like it. I'll make sure you like it. All right. So let's put the lid on. Give it the old three minute treatment. Uh, and then I've got some beef I'm going to throw in it. So with the leftover water I have here, I am going to boil it. Yes, boiled beef. I know you're going to be like, why don't you just saute it? Can't you do this? Can't you do that? I'm doing five reviews today. Give me a break. Um, so, it's time for our quote of the day from the book Momofuku Ando Speaks. Quotes from the guy who invented instant noodles. If you're a Star Trek fan, this is kind of like the Frankie rules of acquisition for noodles. And noodle company chiefs. So, number 163. If your reaction to getting a formal authorization is gratitude, that bespeaks the lack of a sense of responsibility. So, he... In all these quotes, what I'm noticing is that he's very interested in people taking initiative and just going for it. Which is good, but also it's like, well, if they go for it, that could end up being a... I don't know. Could be bad. Just go for it. I don't know. Could be bad. Could be good. Oh, let's see. It's windy. This is typical winter Washington state weather. They keep flirting around with the idea that it's going to snow. I would really like that. They keep talking about maybe we're going to have like snow rain mix, frozen mix in the morning. I'm down with that if I'm already out walking. We've had a lot of like thick fog lately and the one thing I do not want is freezing fog. That's like... No. No freezing fog, please. I can handle most other things, but freezing fog? Uh-uh, that's too, that's too sketchy. I need to get new shoes, too. God. Like yesterday, I did almost 20 miles with my daughter, and last night I looked at my shoes on the bottoms, I'm like, oh, God. Shoes are a hard thing for me. Picking good shoes is really tricky, so we'll see what happens. We'll definitely see what happens. It's getting cloudy and dark right now. It's a like outside, right? But yeah, I got time to look. Outside right now, it says it is 44 degrees. I think it mentioned there was a chance of like an inch of rain today or something. Well, it says mostly, no, oh, partly cloudy. Chance of rain. Uh, 
doesn't say how much. So that means they don't know. There's one day coming up this week that it's going to be really cold. Let me drain my beef. I kind of like saying that. Pardon me a moment while I drain my beef, won't you? I got some beef right there. Now, let's take a look at this. You know what? It used to bother me when people would say, I'm going to cook some Raymond noodles. Because I would hear people call it Raymond noodles. But now, I kind of like it. it. It makes me happy hearing people call them Raymond noodles. That's like ultra end user. They just know they're they're eating Raymond noodles because they like them. They don't care about the history. They don't care about food culture. They don't care about any of it. They're just eating it because they like it and they see it in the store. They tried it and they liked it. That is pure. Pure, pure, pure right there. So much of the instant noodle industry is about extolling virtue and having a story and, and history and this and that. But there's so many people out there that don't even know that that's part of it. They just see it at the store and they eat it. Let's try this noodle. It's got an interesting tooth to it. I don't know. I don't know how much I'm. I'm really sold on that. Let's try this. It has a piece of kernel of corn. The heat makes me think maybe it's uh, what do you call it? Um, that gives me the vibe of a pepper extract, which I'm not <laughs> incredibly fond of use of pepper extracts. I mean, pepper extracts great if you're doing like a, a challenge kind of thing, but in day to day like this is, this is just a spicy beef. I don't think it's warranted. I think, I think better use would be, uh, oh, maybe a chipotle, a little bit of chipotle pepper, maybe a little bit of, I mean, that might not be easily, readily available. Maybe, uh, oh, I don't know. Just a little sachet of pepper flake. Chili patty, bird's eye. That's always good. Okay, let's put this in here. I'm going to say it's okay. It sounds like these are pretty inexpensive. This isn't, I mean, it's not like they're out trying to make like a five star, you know, that's, that's the thing. A lot of people get all bent out of shape when they try an instant noodle and they don't like it. Like, this is horrible. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, I've got a bottom 10 list, don't get me wrong. This would be far from the bottom of that list. Usually things that get on my bottom 10 list, this is chicken flavor. This does not taste like chicken. You know, that kind of thing. But, uh, now people think that, you know, they're going to spend like a quarter on a pack of instant noodles and get something that's like got Michelin stars and it's like I hate to break it to you foodie but that's not how the world works a lot of people get into that whole foodie thing oh I'm gonna sous vide my potato and then I'm gonna add some some lemon zest and a little bit of uh oh I don't know something an aioli, yeah, add an aioli to it, yeah. It's, it's just like, God, just slow down, make something that tastes good, and move on. 
But for this, this is understandable what level it's at, where it's at. It's not bad. You know, it's not great, but it's not bad. I think the noodle could use a little work. But all in all, I mean, it's it's what I really expected I would get out of this cup. And I think it's time for a little rotato action now. Here we go. A little bit. Just a little. episodes a lot of the time. Like, why is he cutting up these things? It's because, if you look on the bottom of this, there's like a ribbed layer or ridges. This is a one-piece cup. A lot of the time you'll have a cup like this and then a wrapper around it. Those are the ones when you see me just with like a white cup, that's what's going on there. But these I have to cook in the cup because it doesn't say how much water to add. That kind of thing. Anyway, a little behind the scenes for me. Been Hans the Ramen Reader, wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one and bye.